everyone. So today I'm going to be talking about the 1975's latest album, A Brief Inquiry into Online Relationships. I think this album pretty much sums up what's going on with our society nowadays. Now this album has gotten a lot of mixed reviews because some people love certain songs and they hate other songs and whatever, but honestly it's the 1975. Some songs are a hit and other songs are a miss, but I think that really depends on whoever is listening to it because music is very subjective people, okay? Just because you hate a song, it doesn't mean it's the worst song out there. Or just because you love a song, it doesn't mean that that's the best song ever. Again, music is subjective. It's, it's a personal thing. With that being said, today I'm only gonna list some of my favorite songs from this album. I talk about the rest of the songs of the album and my honest thoughts on them in my blog, elliemarieproduction.com, link in the down bar below. All right, so let's get to it. So the first song is the first song from the album, the self-titled The 1975. Now they have been consistent with this in their previous two albums and in this one. What I really like about it is that they keep the same lyrics, but the arrangements and the music behind it is completely different, which I think it's the perfect way to set the tone for the rest of this album. Now the second Second song on my list, this song has gotten so much hate, but honestly, within the first five seconds of listening to this song, I was hooked. It has been my jam song, and it's probably one of the most played songs in my Spotify this year. I would be very surprised if it wasn't. And that is Two Time. That song is so catchy. I can't really relate to the lyrics, kind of like most of the songs from the 1975, but it is such a jam. It makes me dance, it puts me in a good mood, all right, and it really just makes my day a whole lot brighter. The third song on my list is How To Draw Slash Pet Core. I hope that's how you say it. And the first part of this song is instrumental and I love it. The instrumental part of How To Draw really reminds me of Sleeping At Last. Sleeping At Last is one of my favorite artists ever, but this really reminds me of that and I love it. The fourth song on the list is Sincerity Is Scary. Now, I didn't really pay much attention to the song when it came out as a single, but I listened to it when the album was released, and then I saw the music video, and I really enjoyed this song. It's very chill. The fifth song is another really catchy song that also puts me in a good mood. It's one of my jam songs, and that's It's Not Living If It's Not With You. Honestly, like most of the songs from the 1975, I'll admit, I pr did not have any clue what the lyrics were about. Um, uh, that's the thing with the 1975, you really have to research what the lyrics are and what they're actually about. Can't really relate, but this song is such a jam. The next song is called Mine, and it's a pretty slow song, and there's some jazzy elements to it, and I just think it's just beautiful. The next song is I Couldn't Be More In Love. This song kind of reminds me of like 80s keyboard, 90s synth stuff. I'm not a musical genius, so I wouldn't really know the right terms for it. But basically, the song is just so beautiful and it's just oh, so good. So I just want to say just because I personally don't like certain songs or I love other songs, the thing that I really admire about the 1975 is that they are super honest in what they say and what they want to tell the world. Now even though I might not relate to some of the things that they sing about, other people in the world probably do relate to those things a lot and I think it's so awesome how they're just so honest and they aren't afraid to share their struggles and their thoughts and their views on certain things and that's the beauty of music. music is a way for people to express themselves and even though you may not relate to what they're saying it helps you understand them a bit more and I think this album really speaks to probably a lot of people especially nowadays and how the world is right now so let me know what are some of your favorite songs from this album so make sure to check out my social media links and my blog my blog has been so good lately and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time bye